Tell me the history of Po' Boy. Okay. So, in 1929, two men came over. They were brothers. They were called the Martin Brothers. And um, it's hard to tell a story with floating shrimp. <laughs> And so the Martin brothers came over here, and they became streetcar conductors. Okay. They did really well, and when it was time that they could retire, instead of retiring, they went into a semi-retirement and opened up a little restaurant right at the beginning of the French market. Well, they did very well over there, and their timing was great because their, the streetcar conductors uh, went on strike with the union. They thought it was going to be short-lived, but instead it went on for a very long time. So um, they started thinking, we really got to feed our friends something to hold them out through the strike. <clears throat> so they wanted to make them a sandwich, but the tr tr traditional uh, baguette, the French baguette, is skinny, <clears throat> toothsome, and pointy on the ends. So they went to the bakers and asked them to redesign a loaf of bread okay. and make it wider, spongier to absorb juices. And four feet long, they had to redesign ovens to bake this so they could make four sections of 12-inch sandwiches and bullnose the end. So then they could put equal parts of meat along the entire uh, loaf of bread, then with the, with the gravy and the debris. And then they wanted a salad of some sort, all in one, so they dressed it with lettuce, tomato, mayonnaise, and pickles. So if you don't want um, pickles on your sandwich in New Orleans, you'll say... I'll have a roast beef po' boy dressed, hold the pickles, or hold the tomatoes. Um, so anyway, when the sandwich got all put together, they sent an assistant out to call the men who were starving in the streets to come and eat something. Uh, the server came back, there was a side window to the restaurant, and in the wind of the Mississippi, or the dialect of the R dropping off, instead of shouting in the windows, he, he shouted, here come the poor boys. But instead, it sounded like, here come yep. the Poe Boys. And wow. so the name Poe Boy stayed ever since. So anything served on this bread is a Poe Boy. So the first Poe Boy was the roast beef Poe Boy. But very popular shrimp Poe Boy. Fried shrimp Poe Boy, I love a, I love a grilled shrimp Poe Boy with a uh, Cajun spice on it. Oyster po' boys are very popular. Catfish po' boys are very popular. So anything on that bread, you can have an eggplant parmesan on the, on that bread. It's a po' boy. You can have a muffalata po' boy on that bread, mm. but the muffalata bread, the 10-inch round with the sesame seeds, only a muffalata goes on that. Nothing else goes on that <laughs> kind of bread. Okay? So that's how the po' boy evolved.